Well, I think we can tone down the sky is falling alarm. Uh, here we are, Sunday, um, February uh, 8th, 7th, 17th, 16th, 17th. Yes, so good. Three days after, well, five days after it began, I guess. I hope you all enjoyed your common unifying threat. And of course, you have to take all info with skepticism. It's good to see that that some are getting it. Uh, including um, what's rumored to be Warner Von Braun's final words about First they'll create this threat, and that threat, and then asteroids, and then aliens, to weaponize space. <sighs> yeah, well, you know, what's your priorities? Go on one another, or survive in nature. Cause, um, there ain't no big chicken little in the sky anymore to, to save any of us. No one. Yeah. And obviously I'm talking even to you shells. Go in there. Oh. Ah. There been. As well as the gaping tax hole tax holes that fund you guys. I mean what would you really sooner be doing? Yeah, it means, you know, you're going to have to have the government educate you about all kinds of things more than what you got now to, you know, serve life rather than serve to destroy life. But, hey, what what's a soldier going to do, huh? Humanity's only redemption will be to go out there just like in Star Trek and prevent species extinction. What the fuck grander secret purpose, sacred purpose, could you want, you silly talking monkeys? What more could you want than to save other species from extinction? Pretty good way to pay the universe back, don't you think? Yeah, not a bad idea. Even this predator thinks so, right? Yeah, see? I was definitely nodding her head up and down. It wasn't me doing it with the camera this time. So however you choose, you know, you, you got to make it happen. <clears throat> this recent incident with the asteroids. Had things been a little different this way or that way, made out of different material, like, you know, one made out of plutonium, we'd all fucking be dead now. It just had that trajectory that happens sometimes. That skims the surface and just vaporizes into the into the atmosphere. Wipes out the ionosphere, and you all get cancer and die. Hey, make it happen however you're going to. But I would suggest, I would suggest you hasten your decision-making process and do something. You will have World War Three, wiping your ugly ass off the planet. Trust me. That's where my kind went. And it got started over over a storm. A solar storm they didn't know about, just like you guys. Blew up a nuclear reactor, power reactor. Um, not quite like the ones you guys used to boil water. 
in India. And then another one. Uh, it's in the Hindi stuff, kind of touches on a little bit of the story. And then they figured it was war, so they launched all their nukes and had war. That's what a lot of this is about. Trying to shore up the withdrawing holy comforter, as your, as your bibbles call it. Your boobles? Blabbles. There's one up there now. Your Bibles, that's it. Yes. Well, anyhow, I know you all know about space weather, about Ragnarok, because because I know I told you though. Know, best way I could, so. Yeah, do whatever you want. Not really much of a species anyhow, I'm sure. You'll never amount to shit as far as serving the universe life. So wipe yourselves out, sterilize the planet, and you know, maybe an asteroid will come along it's from another shattered remnant world and spread a new seed. You choose whether to live or to die as a species and as individuals. Certainly more so as a species. I could guarantee you there's there's no... Ah oh, well, I fucked up. I'm just gonna get a glorious new second life. That's... From your perspective, a total crock of bullshit.